Hi, everybody. Okay, we're going to talk about another type of transformation called reflections. Now, this should make sense. Just like when you look in a mirror, you see a reflection. And uh, think about this for a sec. If you're this far from the mirror, it appears as though your reflection is also this far away from the mirror on the other side, right? The side from me to the mirror is the same as the mirror to the where it appears my reflection is, or your reflection is. So that's exactly how reflections on a graph work. So if we've ever used a mirror before in our lives, we should be able to get our minds around this. It's pretty easy stuff, okay? Let's just pick one point and we'll sh and I'll describe what we're doing here, okay? How about this? Okay, here's a point. Its value is, uh, x is on the x-axis it's positive two, and its y is positive three, okay? So that's the description of this point. Always an x, y. Okay, so we're gonna ask ourselves, what, what would the new point be if we did a reflection? So the reflection is the action. But how do we know where to reflect it? Are we gonna put the mirror right here? Or are we gonna put the mirror right here? Or are we gonna put the mirror here or there? We'll just use the axes. I'm gonna say, what happens if we reflect over this is the terminology you'll hear. Reflect over the y-axis. Okay, what happens? Now, when we understand this and think about it, it's always good to draw a mental picture of this, okay? So there's our y-axis, okay? So that means we are going to reflect over that as if there's a mirror here. How far away will this point be in the mirror space, right? Okay. Uh, what it is... How do I describe it? Okay. If you had, you know, those ink blots for people. <laughs> if you, if I, if you fold a paper here, and you had it a little uh, a ink blot here, and you folded it, it would show up right here. Okay, right down the middle would be the ref uh, the the axis of reflection, and you'd have it reflected on both sides. Okay. So. That's our axis here, so that's where our new point is going to be, okay? Now, now, what's the description of our new point? We can look at the graph and see that's easy. That's an x value of negative 2 and a y value of plus 3, okay? Hmm, let's look at what, the, what happened here, okay? So before, okay, and after. This is, this is where it gets handy to discover patterns, okay? So before we had this, 2 and 3, after we had this, negative 2 and 3, okay? What, what was the change that happened? Well, you say, what's the difference? The difference is that this x term, see, this is, this is where the x would be, so uh, it became negative. Okay, that's it. So what we can say is that when we reflect over the y-axis, this is stuff you want to write in your notebook. When you reflect over the y-axis, your x value becomes negative, or it, it negates itself, okay? Likewise, watch this. If we had a point here at, let's call this one, point A. So this is Point A is at negative 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 2 and negative 4. What this tells us, if we reflect over the y, uh, the y axis again, we're always reflecting the y axis. If we reflect over the y axis to here, we already know what the before and after effect is, but watch carefully. Before, okay. So before we had negative 2, negative 4. But after, this is already negative. So what are we doing here? We're making a negative negative? Yes and no. Watch this. Our x value becomes negated. So we now have negative, negative 2. You got that? So the rule still applies. But whatever our x value was, we now have it negative. 
and then the y value stayed the same. That's for this point over here. Okay? Now, what exactly is a negative negative 2? This should be, uh, we should get used to this. When we see a negative negative, that is the same as a plus. So really, this is the new point. So if this is point A, A prime then is described at plus 2, negative 4. Okay? So that's on the graph, but this is just by using the, the, the math sim symbolic, symbolic is, okay? In either case, whether we start here or here or here or here or anywhere, anytime we reflect over the y-axis, what we've shown is that our x value of our, of our ordered pair, sorry, this is called an ordered pair, okay? This ordered pair, the x value becomes negative. Or sorry, it doesn't become negative, it gets negated. That's what I mean. Okay? We apply a negative sign to it. That's it. That's it, that's it, that's it.